Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. Today we have the follow-on from the lesson that we did last week, which was on the verbs of becoming or the verbs of change, yes? Sí. Los verbios sí, sí. de cambio. Verbios. Verbios, ¿no? Verbios. <risa> verbios <risa> y adverbios. <risa> Debería ser verbios, ¿eh? Con adverbios y verbios, ¿no? Verbos, perdonad, perdonad. Verbos, ¿vale? Verbos. Uh, los verbos de cambio. So, Cynthia, uh, Cynthia has created a story. ¿Qué? Ay, Dios. I don't know. Ya está mejor, ¿no? Mi amor. Verbios. It just sounded funny. Un verbio. Su verbio. I Cynthia has created a story in which we have to insert the right verb of change and conjugate it correctly, and it's in the past. So, tighten your belt. Don't judge me for this obra maestra <laughs> that you can listen to because I didn't know what to... It's a fairy story, fairy tale. It's not a fairy. It's a fairy tale. Well, yes, but not. This is a fairy story there well are, I meant fairy tale fairies. but I, then I, obviously I've been out of England for a long time and I thought it was a fairy story it's not it sounded wrong so I said fairy tale <laughs> okay okay it's a fairy tale okay un cuento de hadas un cuento de hadas okay entonces hacemos oh by the way you can download the the um, document it's in the video notes as well but don't do it until you've watched the video okay and then you can oh, do it oh because they'll afterwards. have the answers Yeah, well, the answers are on. Yeah, exactly. So don't, it won't be fair. Don't do it. Or you can download it, but don't look at the answers. Try and do them. ¿Vale? Yes. Entonces, hablamos de no, todo. No, they're, they're ¿Eh? very bad at that. It's What? very tempting. Of course. They don't, don't look at the answers. They'll be like... Of course, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Oh, yes. I'm not. <laughs> like that. Uh, okay. Entonces, okay. hablamos de todo en la segunda parte. So before we start the test, we want to give you two options. Because this test has past tense in, future tense, a little bit of subjunctive even. First thing you want to do is identify what verb type it's going to be. Which one? To find out, is this one going to be volverse? Yeah. Or is it going to be convertirse en? Whatever. Decide that. Exactly. And then see if you can get the conjugation. Okay? Yes. If it's too hard to conjugate it, just write it in infinitive like this would be quedarse okay and then you know you can try try and conjugate it but let's see if you can get the verb right first and then if you get the conjugation right that would be fantastic so 12 points so six would if be, you get yeah. 12 points if you get the verb so give yourself a point and then another 12 to get the conjugation so there's a possible okay. 24 points eso es eso es mm. muy bien okay so <laughs> we'll go I'm going to cover this so that you can't see it either okay Okay, Cynthia. Actually, I'll just... <laughs> I've got to be able to read what, what, at least that bit to give me a clue. Okay? okay, you can read that bit. All right. Okay, so you're doing this with me, okay? Érase una vez una niña pobre que, andando por el campo muy cerca de su casa, se encontró una pera enorme encima de una roca. Okay. La pera... Parecía de... Sorry, I'm laughing because you, when you read it before, you said la perra. I, But, I was reading it saying perra. Yeah. Okay, this, the, the, the female dog. La perra parecía deliciosa. <laughs> ok, la pera parecía deliciosa. Y ella tenía mucha hambre. Como era, era pobre, claro. Era pobre. Tenía mucha hambre. Mm -hmm. Así que, sin dudarlo, agarró la pera y se la comió. Mm -hmm. Al rato de noche y era hora de regresar a su casa. Ah, it de became noche. night. Okay. So I would say se hizo de noche. Correcto, se, se hizo, hizo de, de noche. noche. A la mañana siguiente se levantó, se fue al baño y se vio reflejada en el espejo. ¿Cómo? La niña mm, Boquiabierta. 
Okay, so this is to become an emotion. Se quedó. Perfecto. Se quedó. Se quedó. Boquiabierta. ¿Qué había pasado? La niña ¿Mm? en una mujer adulta. So this is convertirse en. Eso es. But in the tense that we're in, we've got to use se había convertido, ¿no? Because Correcto. We're, why are we using había? Because we're referring to something that had happened before. We're in the past and also taking a jump back. So that's the blue, blue perfect. Se había convertido en. Eso es. Se había convertido en una mujer adulta. Mm. Era una mujer alta, muy guapa y se parecía mucho a su mamá. Ah. Uh. No sabía qué hacer y cómo decírselo a sus padres. Su papá estaba enfermo y sería terrible para su salud. ¿Qué iba a hacer? Solo tenía 10 años. La niña a llorar desconsoladamente. Ah. Okay, so this is the when an emotion that comes to you and that would be ponerse, ¿no? So in that tense it would be se puso. Perfecto, se puso. I've also added se echó. It's not, it's not a uh -huh. verb of change, uh -huh. but we could also say, say charge it out, like when you burst, burst into tears. Into tears. Yeah. The burst into tears mm -hmm. uh, would be echarse a. ¿Qué me ha pasado? Mm, ¿Así para siempre? Eh, a ver, ¿dónde? ¿Qué me ha pasado? ¿Me quedo? Me quedaré. O me quedaré. Ay, sí, sí. Me quedaré. Me, me quedaré, quedaré así sí. para siempre. Mm -hmm. Ajá. So, quedarse, to end up, to remain, mm -hmm. to stay. Finalmente, la niña fue a buscar a su madre. Mamá, no te asustes. Soy yo. Ayer me comí una pera que encontré en el bosque y... en adulta. Ah. Ok. So, again, this is going to be... Convertirse en, ¿no? Uh -huh. So, me convertí en adulta. Ok, what I wrote was me he convertido. Pero ah, yo okay. creo que me convertí. Ok, okay. both would be fine. Ok. Su madre, por supuesto, perpleja y sorprendida. Ok. Perpleja. Ya. Yeah. So bueno, muy emotion. similar en inglés, ¿no? Eh, se quedó. Muy bien, se quedó, se quedó perpleja y sorprendida. Guys, if you're liking this content, it would really help us if you clicked like and you subscribed because it's free. And remember that we have lots and lots of books available on Amazon on lots of subjects. All you have to do is search either Lightspeed Spanish or search Gordon Smith Duran and they'll turn up for you. Or come to our website. Y le dijo, quizá... Si vas al campo hoy, encuentres otra pera y si te la comes, mm, en una niña, como antes. Mm, ok, so this is convertirse en, uh, again, yeah? Eso es. But this is a will. Eso es. Te convertirás, ¿no? Convertirás, muy bien. Eso es. Y así lo hizo. La niña se fue al campo y encima de esa misma roca había otra pera. Con miedo, pero con determinación, la mordió. De repente, sintió un mareo y... Mm, dormida. Ok, so that's gonna be... That's quedarse dormido, ¿no? Entonces, uh -huh. se quedó dormida. Muy bien. ¿Qué hora es? Volvió corriendo a su casa. Se miró en el espejo y... Era una niña de nuevo. Estaba muy feliz de qué ser bien. una niña otra vez. Qué bien, qué alivio. Pasaron los años y la niña mmm, mayor. Ah, ok, became older, so that would be... Se hizo mayor. Muy bien, muy bien, se hizo mayor. Tras mucho estudiar, mmm, la mejor médico de su país y pudo ayudar a su padre. Okay, so this is a lot of work involved. That's going to be llegar a ser, ¿verdad? Llegar Eso a ser. Es. ¿Dónde será? Eh, 
Llegó a ser. Llegó a ser, muy bien, la mejor médico de su país. La niña siempre había sido una niña muy curiosa y despreocupada, pero este incidente hizo que... Mmm, mucho más precavida. Ok. So this is volverse, ¿no? Mm -hmm. But we've got a trigger for the subjunctive. We Hizo do. que in the past, so this is past subjunctive, se volviera. Eso es. O se volviese. O se volviese. Muy bien. Correcto. Ah, muy pues bien. Has muy aprobado. Bien, muy bien. Creo que... Muy bien. Has hecho un buen trabajo, Gordon. Mm -hmm. I, well, I just got the... Misunderstood the tense on that one. But I use present tense instead of the future. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. How yeah. did you do yeah. with that? I mean, that that's a challenge, you know, because there's a lot of... It's all in past tense. You, I, well, I not all in past tense. Well, well uh, the, we have some future. The story in past tense. Yes. Let me tell you something about fairy tales. When, when I started learning Spanish, I thought that it would be easy to read fairy tales. I don't know what fairy tales for children. Let's just get some fairy tale books. Do you know what? They're not. Because they're all in the past. It's in often in old language, a little bit, you know. Nice. Érase una vez. No? Well, yes. Érase una vez is, is standard. Is it's once, like once upon a time. Once upon a time. Yeah. Érase una vez. That's a fixed. But it, was, it, was, it wasn't like um, what I imagined for children, you know. It's a hard, these are hard, le the hard level. It's all in the past. And look, we've got subjunctive we've got future we've That's got true. the whole shebang in there you know what i didn't put i didn't put the ending and it should have been y colorín colorado este cuento se ha acabado either that or if it's like a couple story something like that it would be y fueron felices y comieron perdices <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but uh, to finish Any story you could say, colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that version of the perdices would be our, and they lived uh, happily, happily ever, ever after. after. That's it. Exactly. That's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So how did that go for you? You had a potential 24 <sighs> points. 24 Please points. Write in the comments. Absolutely. Put in the comments how you did. How you did. And did you identify the right verb first? And then did you get the conjugation right? And, and I'm going to give you an extra bonus point. If you got the subjunctive right on that one, then oh. you get two points. Yes. Okay, so it's a potential 25 points. I mean, you could even do another layer and it would be not have the written test in front of you and just, just listen. listen and see if you could get that would be like another, you know, you could test you yourself even further like that. Not easy, not easy. Bueno, entonces, eso es todo, chicos. Muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Sí, gracias. Y ahora... Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.